Dallas police are investigating the death of a transgender woman who was shot and killed Saturday, just weeks after a video was posted of her being brutally beaten. And we want to warn you, some of what you're about to see is graphic. Anna Werner reports. This time it was me, the next time it could be someone else close to you. Less than a month after speaking out about her attack, Malaysia Booker was found shot to death in a Dallas neighborhood. Upon arrival, officers found the complainant lying face down in the street, deceased from homicidal violence. Booker's previous assault in April was captured on cell phone video. The 23-year-old told authorities she was beaten following a minor traffic accident and said her attackers used homophobic slurs. Authorities charged Edward Thomas with aggravated assault. Although it was flagged as a hate crime, gender identity is not listed under Texas's hate crime statute. At this point, police have not connected that attack to Booker's murder. Her father hopes it wasn't a targeted killing. I pray that it wasn't, because I don't want to see nobody's child go through any of this, nobody's family. Everywhere we go, she was picked. She was picked on because she's transgender. Advocacy groups say attacks on transgender people in the U.S. are on the rise. Last year, the Human Rights Campaign tracked at least 26 deaths due to fatal violence. The majority of victims were black transgender women. Experts say as shocking as the numbers are, the number of victims could be even higher. So often, they will remain silent. Uh, and the data we have is based on the folks who have reported. We don't know about the folks who suffer in silence. Anna Werner, CBS News, New York.